right now in Salt Lake City. We're at 15 degrees. You add on the wind, seven miles per hour wind chill factor. As you can see, it feels like it's five degrees out there. Now, many locations with the temperature in the single digits, even in some areas like turning towards the Uinta Basin, temperatures at minus five to minus 15 degrees below zero. Yeah, we're hanging on to the cold. We're expected high today in Salt Lake City. Below average, not even getting up to freezing. Maybe a degree or two warmer than yesterday. You can see the record of 58 degrees where last weekend we were in the 50s, but boy, we've been under this cold spell and not breaking free anytime soon. And as we know, we get the snow and the storms and that cold air it quickly traps in inversion setting up and air quality decreasing. Right now we're seeing mainly kind of a lot of yellow dots, moderate concern level here across northern Utah. We're good to go across the south though. Good, uh, good conditions there, all in the green, where air quality will diminish here throughout the weekend. So expect to see the haze building up, and thus with air quality moderate right now, tomorrow potentially moving into the unhealthy or orange category there for sensitive groups, which will be the case Monday. We're hopefully looking at some storms, though, to keep that air mixed out. But let's talk about getting you through the day and for tonight as well. If you're going to be doing any holiday lights downtown, you'll need to bundle up. With temperatures in the 20s there as we look in the early evening hours. It will be chilly, a little hazy out there. That's the situation for tonight. Now, state snowpack, we've been talking about this. Such a beneficial storm. I know it was tough to shovel and travel through Monday through Thursday, but here throughout the state, you can see all the numbers well above average, kind of more into that 140 to 150 percent for a state average. So this is good news for a snowpack. We want to keep it going. Of course, this was the situation last year through December. It was a great start. Yeah, keeping our fingers crossed that we don't move into a situation where we don't get those big storms again. But as we look here for the weekend, we're not worried about snow. No storms tracking through. No current watches and warnings in place as skies are clear here throughout the state. We'll keep it clear, but again, high pressure begins to work through. But still having that cold northwesterly flow where we've got the Arctic air off towards the east, upper Midwest through the central plains. As you can look off to the west, though, we don't have any big storms there moving ahead. Okay, let's take a look at your forecast where highs today again below average 20s in Ogden expected high low 30s Salt Lake City through Provo only in the 20s in Logan highs only in the teens in the Uinta Basin but again throughout the state will keep temperatures anywhere between 5 to 10 degrees below average that means 40s for St. George now for the next seven days for St. George you don't have any precipitation in your forecast you do see some warmer temperatures though by the middle of the week as we'll be looking at highs leading up to the weekend, getting ready for Christmas Eve day, you'll be in the 50s. Now for northern Utah, we do have two storms that are going to clip northern Utah, bringing some light snow showers. They're not big storms. They will allow temperatures to warm up just a bit ahead of the cold front that hits Wednesday through Thursday. And then another storm on Friday. Again, they're not big. Hopefully for the mountains, maybe producing anywhere between four to eight inches, kind of a refresher there, but it will keep the air mixed out and improve air quality again by the middle of the week. And hopefully as we look towards the holiday weekend, we get a little fresh snow to start that out. So we're looking for that white Christmas there. We'll kind of keep you posted to see any more storms on Christmas Day. But here for the weekend, all we have is the hazy sunshine and those cold temperatures.